Welcome to the Nuff Said Podcast. We're talking season four, episode six, The Good Samaritan. I choked on that a little bit. Uh, I'm Rob Southgate. With me is... A little Canadian. Hey, Lil. We are late with this, but you know what? They're on a big break anyway, so what does it matter? We've been loading this feed up with cool stuff. So, sorry, Charlie. Charlie's the one that's been harassing me about us being late. So, Charlie, this is for you. So, how have you been, Alil? I've been all right. Uh, still uh, <clears throat> a, bit, a <clears throat> bit under the weather, but uh, yeah. getting better. It's been about almost two weeks, it feels like. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it seems like everybody's kind of got a cold or isn't doing great. My voice might give up by the end of this, even though I think I feel fine. I'm already feeling it, so uh. what can you do? Uh, okay, Good Samaritan. We did not get what I was expecting. I'm going to put what that right on Front Street. What were you expecting? I thought we were going to get a lot more Ghost Rider. I thought from the preview, it looked like we were going to get a big old Ghost Rider story. We got the backstory, but think about it. We got a glimpse of Ghost Rider here, a glimpse of Ghost Rider there. Uh, really, what the season's been doing. What yeah, the exactly. Season's been doing. And I thought this was going to be the big blowout. Just before they take a little break at Thanksgiving, this was the one to have a blowout with Ghost Rider. Instead, we got a little bit of Ghost Rider, a little bit of, well, two Ghost Riders, a right. little bit of the Ghost, which... I don't care about. Uh, so from an effect standpoint, I was a little disappointed, even though it was cool to see Johnny Blaze. And I think that's who that was. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was Johnny Blaze as well. Now, do you I like the episode? Yeah, but, me too. But I'm, I'm with you. It's They keep doing the same thing with this tease. And is it going to pay off? I don't know. I still don't know if I trust them enough to pay it off. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about it. And and uh, I wonder if the Johnny Blaze thing, I wonder if that was, well, it had to be planned up from the beginning, but I, ju I just wonder if that is part of the plan. If they are going to indeed give him a Netflix series, it would make a lot of sense to do uh -huh. some of that ghostwriter history and bring Johnny Blaze into it. Would they do Robbie or would they do Johnny Blaze for that story? No, it's going to be Robbie because that's that's who they're that's establishing. They're yeah, right. But here, here's the thing. Yeah, now. they could have a couple of things going on, and it would be cool. I, you cannot have two competing Ghost Rider series. The, that's that's not going to happen. They're, yeah, but I'm saying within that, like if they have, it looked like something went behind me back here. Uh, if, if you had uh, Ghost Rider, uh, if you had Johnny Blaze, and you had Robbie Reyes, you know, who's to say they couldn't do something like that? I, I guess. And then they get Ghost Rider 2099. There's, there's also but, that, what was that, that third Ghost Rider. I can't there's remember. There's that one that was uh, on the horse. Yeah. And that, uh, no, not the horse. The guy, uh, who would, <laughs> I have his action figure over here somewhere. He had a blue flames for a small period of time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I'm looking him up. I know who you mean. I can't think of his name. Uh, Ghost Rider Comics Wikipedia. This guy. Yeah, that guy. He's got the Johnny spike. Blaze, Danny Catch. Danny Catch, that's who it is. Alejandro Jones, Robbie Reyes. This is Danny Catch. So maybe they bring so, that in. I don't know. I don't, I don't know this Alejandro Jones. Do you know this one? Um, um, it was from Fear Itself. So it must be like a one-off. short run, yeah. I, I the Fear He's, Itself line, I crossed over a lot of different things. I, I can't remember exactly everything. Um, but yeah. Yeah, all right. So there's four other than what was established in the movie, which was the one on the horse, and then there's supposedly all sorts of other stuff. Um, oh, yeah, she's pretty, pretty interesting looking. So, Is she the one on the horse? No. Daughter of an American human trafficker. All right. All right, maybe they'll go that route. Maybe they'll be maybe they'll be Ghost Rider World. That's what they're trying to do is build universe build Ghost Riders. There's Ghost Riders working at Walmart. There's Ghost Riders, you know, everywhere. There yeah, could be. You want some flaming fries with that? that I mean, how, how this seemed that that Johnny gave him his powers, not Satan. So I yeah, that was interesting. Um, 
they keep saying it's Satan. They're not saying they're inhuman, but what's that about? I mean, he did have, I mean, he did have the thing where the voice came to him and said, do you want this? Like he, it had all of the elements. He was in the car crash. He's flying through the air. That was a pretty cool effect. Uh, he yeah. is, is basically praying for vengeance and it gets answered. And that's when Johnny blaze shows up and passes the torch, so to speak to him. Uh, does, does he give him his power? Doesn't have it anymore. I don't know. He has to still have it. He, what did, did we see him walk away still on fire? Yeah. Then he didn't pass the torch. He would have dissolved because he's dead. No, so I, as soon think, as he, I don't think that's as as he right. Passed, I think as soon as they pass the power, like if, if Robbie passes the power on to somebody and loses the power, I don't he dies. I, think I don't he believe dies. that's true. I don't believe that's true. I'm gonna I, believe, say it's true. I, believe, I believe they get their lives back. I don't believe that they just die. I believe you, you they sell their soul and you know they have to pay the price back to keep you know to keep going. I okay. Know. I don't I'm, I'm, Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's it. But then if that's the case, then we can have two ghostwriters in the same space. Yeah. And we go back to if they do do a Netflix series, you can have Johnny Blaze show up and and work with Robbie or you know, maybe maybe he's Maybe Johnny has to answer for sins or something. Maybe, you know, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean. But I thought it was cool that they're like, oh, the motorcycle pulled up and the guy got off and you're sitting there going, it's got to be him, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did like the fact that they did that. Um, I, I liked the twist. It was a good twist with the uncle. Yes. Now, did you see that coming? I mean, was there a point in this other than when it was finally revealed that you saw it? Because I really and the clues I, are there. I, I didn't see it coming. I, the I, clues are there if you go back and watch it, but I didn't catch anything. I mean, I literally didn't until he was going in the chamber, and I was like, "Why is he going in the chamber?" Oh, it's him. Yeah, I didn't. But the clues were there. There were a lot of little things. I think in this they laid in. They, they laid a little bit more breadcrumbs in, in that story, but I don't think prior yes. to it. Prior to it, I don't think they did at all. Yeah, yeah. Here I went when she was telling the story about you know the, the you know the they they hired the the gang to kill the the, the uncle and yeah because he was power hungry and I'm like thinking to myself I'm like okay yeah so, they, you know what but even that when you think about it it starts to make more sense that, well, no, maybe not. Because when they, when they first said the gang was sent to him, I thought, oh, it's because he was messing up John or Joe's thing. That's why he sent this gang. But it wasn't that. It was that he, they were trying to stop him because he was getting power hungry. Yeah. So, yeah. And it, it was interesting that the ghost, I, I, I did like this. Uh, I don't know her name. June or something. The way they did it with the ghost, they didn't give her redemption. They didn't have her become a good guy. What they did was you saw she was trying to get revenge on him. He had done wrong, but it, she was still using her tactics. She was walking through people. She was doing whatever she could to get her way. So it's she wasn't ultimately the first bad guy, and she wasn't a bad guy. But she, she wasn't redeemed, right? I mean, I mean, she 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 wanted to be human again. I mean, but I think that was interesting. They, I mean, they didn't they didn't play it off like you're supposed to be sympathetic, and he wasn't. She had sins. He grabbed her hand and whoosh, gone. Right. So well, and now his his story arc is: can he take down his uncle? Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, when the uh, when he went into the chamber, and that white light that looks like the end of Star Wars went off. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Fitz was in that room. Fitz is gone now. Coulson was in the room with him. He's gone. We don't see him. We didn't even see a body. I went back and looked. It looked like there was a body there. If you turn the brightness up on your TV, it's not a body. So where did those guys go? Maybe is Coulson went... in Tahiti and he's going to come back as Ghost Rider Coulson now? No. I, I, they don't come back as Ghost Riders. They, they, they turn them into that antimatter thing so they're what, gonna have like to a ghost re reverse engineer that ghost thing yeah so they're gonna be like ghosts and uh 
that's going to be what's going to keep Fitz and Simmons apart right now. So, of course, they found some way to do that. Uh, but they yeah. already did because we don't know where Simmons is now. Simmons right. is on a mission. Right, right. She's on a mission, and they have a little bit of a rift because of the whole I know something I shouldn't tell and thanks for putting that in my head and blah, blah, blah. I thought the stuff with Chase, Case, Case was really cool. I like what they're doing because he is holding true to his thoughts. He he has a direct standpoint on everything. You could argue that he's being a, a thorn in their side, but you know what? He is acting as a director of S.H.I.E.L.D. He is taking it very seriously. These are the parameters I work within, and that's how it is. Yeah. I, thought, I thought that's a great way because it, it makes him a foil but not a bad guy. Well, we don't know yet because he's – He's working for that senator. True. So and true. I don't think he's going to be a bad guy, though. I don't think that we're going to find that. I think that he maybe has been manipulated. Maybe he's naive in the, that respect. Uh, but I don't think we're going to ultimately have him be a, you know, like, uh oh, he's the big bad in the second half of the season. Right. He's he's not Hydra. He's not pulling that that thing. But is he? You know, is he trustworthy? No, because he he could be setting this whole team up because this team is inhuman centric. Yes, to uh, to fail. Like again, I still don't know where he sent Gemma, and it could be somewhere not in her best. Yeah, he put he put that hood over, and he's like, "You got to trust." Like, oh man, where is she going? She's going to end up on that planet again, and all of a sudden Ward is there, and it's like, what happened? No, that's not going to happen. Uh, uh, Brett Dalton, but you can't come back to this show. You just I, got, <laughs> I got a quote for you. Okay. Might be one of the best quotes. Screw you, Black Kojak. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> he called him Ironside, and he's like, yeah, screw you, Black Kojak. That was funny. What's even funnier is the last time they re when they relaunched Kojak, it was a black Kojak. Did you know that? I did not. A lil? Why why would the I know more, that? The more you know. Uh, it, it, <laughs> it did not enlighten me at all. So uh, it was uh it was Ving Rames actually played Kojak. Was it Ving Rames? And we actually that? are was friends. That, was that a USA? We are friends with Kojak's daughter. Tell it's about his daughter. Believe it or not, the more you know. Yep. I know everybody, Alil. Who and loves yet, you, baby? And yet you're here doing a podcast. And, and yet I'm with you. Exactly. Yeah, I'm slumming it. <laughs> I'm not. You're slumming <laughs> it. Uh, let's see. The uh, the Molotov cocktail, that was, that was unexpected. I thought they were going to kick that door open on Robbie and start shooting at the car. The fact that he opens it up, throws a Molotov cocktail at him, and then they start shooting him up. I was like, yeah, this is a pretty good action scene. Uh, him flying through the windshield, that was pretty sweet effect. I like the yeah. slow-mo on it and everything. Reminded me of uh, of Deadpool. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. The, uh, that whole sequence was really good, and the Johnny Blaze thing. I think they kind of spent the budget on this part. And once again, I would have liked to see a little bit more Ghost Rider, but you know, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, I liked when the uh, the containment unit was attached to the bottom of the jet. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That was pretty clever. Uh, and I, I like that the director figured it out. <laughs> that was that was good. He's like, yeah, I've yeah. been on this enough. I know when the containment unit is missing. And you're right, Phil. You're That's not that. lying. It's not on the plane. Yep. That was good. <laughs> I mean, and, and their reaction, of course, when... when he ghost ridered out and broke out of the containment unit. And how sweet was that when he was punching it? And they're like, that's gonna hold, right? Yeah, nothing can get out of there. Yeah, okay. Huh? It's Ghost Rider. Nick Cage could do it. I Just don't know. as Nick Cage. Uh, uh I guess he does have that kind of power. Superhuman power. He'll have his uh his uh bag of jelly beans and just bust through it. <laughs> Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Unless he's playing the character from Peggy Sue Got Married. That guy could not bust through there. But everything else, Nick Cage. I don't know. Doing? See him raising Arizona. I don't think he could bust out of there either. High? I think High could. Uh, I don't think so. He was really skinny then. Really. Was, you know what? That might be his crowding achievement, though, because he's so great in that movie, and that movie is just the best. 
It, it is. I love Raising Arizona. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. Let, you know, let's talk about Raising Arizona. I don't need to talk about this anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the flame off was pretty amazing. Uh, we saw him flame yeah. on, and then we saw flame off. That was that was a good effect. Uh, once again, I just needed a little more. Well, I felt like again, I felt like if you watch you, you watch the Flash, you get it. You get the right amount of the superhero stuff going on. You, you don't feel ton. you get a ton. Yeah, you get a ton. You, you don't, you don't get, get, it get too much. You don't get too much. You get just the right amount where you're like, yes, here. You know, right? They, you get Barry so, in the suit. You get Barry racing. You get other monsters. You get they other should things. sit with a stopwatch in time. How many CG? How much time is spent in the suit? And do the exact same amount here. If you can, it, it's super. It, that's a suit versus CG. There's two different price. I mean, it's Barry in a costume. I mean, that's not the same as if they the have the money to buy Netflix. They have the money to do this right. A little, you'll write the check. Come on. A little. No, I won't write the check. A little. Come Sorry. on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did write down that Gabe is kind of a uh, a dick. Um, no, he is. Gabe is right. No, I think he is. No, Gabe is right. Don't Why put is he that right? on him. Why is he right? Because basically he's telling him that the only reason he's ghostwriter is to to avenge what happened to him. And that's that that don't you don't put that on him. That is true. Gabe hadn't complained said, about being in a wheelchair this whole time. It's, yeah, but you know what? I'm going back to how he's been the whole time. He was that way to Daisy. Uh he's just kind of got this like chip on his shoulder thing where he's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just kind of felt like, yeah. You know, yeah, you could say that to him, but you could also say, like, dude, I'm sorry it's happening to you, but don't put it on me. He doesn't say that. He's more like, you're a jerk for putting it on me. Well, no. All right, because he's a murderer. I mean. No, he's not. Ghost Rider is. And Ghost Rider's only murdering those that deserve it. You need to take an ethics class, Gabe. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't believe that is also the appropriate thing, that he can murder just because they deserve it. Well, you know what? That is an ethical standpoint. So you got to look at that. You got to figure out where you stand. Do I think people should be murdered like that? No, I don't. A little, I'm sure you clearly do. I've seen you at the meetings. I know. Uh, online. I haven't been there myself. I've seen the meetings online. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, no, I mean, like to me, no, I think he's a murderer. I think that when you get into ethics, though, there is that standpoint where. You know, he to him, this is a well eye for an eye kind of writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he buys into it. The good of the few outweigh the good of the one. I, I get it. But I am not I also don't always think... will be your friend. See. Get that weird finger out of the picture. <laughs> Here, I'll do it with this one. There you go. <laughs> I always have been and will be your friend. I don't watch Star Trek. Stop but you knew it was Star Trek. Because, because you're doing the Spock. Yep. <laughs> Put your hand up again. You got to talk so we can see it on the screen. I don't. Why? That, why? Yes. Look at those bent up fingers. My hand looks even better than yours. And mine's terrible. Yeah, I played sports. Not this one. <laughs> I've had a hard yeah. life. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. One of these things is not like the other. But I can do all sorts of tricks. Nasty. Sure. Yeah, that, that, Look at that bent up finger too. Nasty. Uh, okay, what happened? What else happened? Eli it. lived. Uncle Eli lived. So now it's going to be Ghost Rider chasing him down. Uh, Colson and uh, Fitz are going to be ghosts. So they're going to have to resolve that. Well, we think and we don't know. They're they're somewhere. They're not going to like. Well, you know what? We were a little top heavy with characters, so we just decided to kill off Fitz and Colson. Why not? <laughs> that would be a I, unique I, approach. I mean, we, 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 we've got humans coming in a year, so let's just kill everybody on S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, you know what? Okay, let's talk about that. So that got announced. Good thing we're late. They announced in 2017 an Inhuman show. Do you think they're September. going to do the Inhumans 
that they were going to do for the movie, or do you think it's going to be more of a spinoff of? No, this? they said they said in the in the press release it will be Black Bolt and the royal family. Really? Yeah. Did you not read? Okay. No, I the didn't release read. that I posted on enough said Facebook page. I did not. I was too busy tweeting and doing all sorts of other stuff. Okay, so here's here's my question then. If if that's what they're doing, are they going to have the budget? If they don't have the budget for more than thirty seconds of Ghost Rider in this, are they going to have the budget yes. to do the royal family? Medusa's hair alone is going to be, be at this point. It looks like it's the the Inhuman show is not a twenty episode season. At at this point, it looks like it's going to be, be like eight, an Agent Carter eight episode mm-hmm. miniseries. Okay, the two the first two episodes are going to combine. Are going to be combined into a movie and shot on IMAX cameras. The entire thing. It's going to be released in theaters two weeks before uh, it releases. Uh, it airs on ABC, so you can watch it in IMAX two weeks prior. The first two episodes as a movie. We're I, doing that. IMAX is uh, then they're they're then for ABC. They're going to have. Additional scenes in those first two episodes and that we're weren't in IMAX. Those two, you know, it's killing me. I didn't get to go to Doctor Strange yet, and if you went to the IMAX this weekend, you got yeah. that sweet poster. I poster yeah, I know. Did I, you get I one? Saw, no, I saw it opening opening day at an IMAX. Oh, I wish I had gone and gotten one. I'm really disappointed I didn't get it. I agree. It's, it was a cool poster, but. I, I have too many, too much on my walls. I don't have room. And I even put it out there. I'm like, anybody going this weekend, just grab me one. Nobody responded. Not one of my friends, no you family, don't, no but you, one. But you don't really have any friends, so it's okay. I don't rate. Well, you don't. Just, just buy it off of eBay. Yeah. I'm sure people are selling it on eBay. I, I downloaded the image. I could just look at it on my screen. Same diff. No, not really. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> you lose. I got enough crap. You know, there's so much stuff I don't even have up. I just have like some random things up right now. Guardians of the Galaxy poster right back there. That's from when they did that little mini preview thing. I know. I got. Uh, the, I got the midnight poster. Yeah, I got Boba Fett over here. I got. I got a Scotty Young uh, Star Wars over here. I got all sorts of stuff going on. Yeah, I got a Scotty Young Star Wars signed over here. Oh, oh, I got it signed. Yeah, I'm a little. Well, you know, and I got Scotty Young Avengers signed over there. But it's got butter all over it. No, nope, so. it doesn't, though. Butterless? Butter free? It's butterless. Oh, I can't believe Maybe I'll just order butter. one of these on eBay. Oh, snap. That's the. That's not the one. Uh, they came. There's two different posters that came out. I only saw the funky one. Yeah, there's the funky both. one and the normal one. I heard the normal one is the one that you can get pretty red- readily. It's the funky one was the exclusive for the weekend. Yes, yeah, there's the. Yep, sweet. Show it again, and I won't talk. Okay, here it is. If you can see it, I'm gonna try to make it uh, look any better. I doubt it looks any good, but there it is. It's good enough. We tweeted it out, so people can see it there. Uh, yeah, follow us on Twitter. Nuff said podcast. We have some contests and some other stuff coming. Uh, we've got some really sweet shirt deals, some sales and stuff coming up for Black Friday. And uh, we tweet stuff out like those cool posters. And I try to use high res images so you can put it as a screensaver. You can print it if you wanted to be that guy. Uh, I try to do that with that stuff. So, uh, and if you don't follow us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook because. This week, we've been lighting it up between the Inhuman stuff I'm not reading and uh, there was that picture of Tom Holland. Did you see that picture of Tom Holland in the Spider-Man suit this week? Which one? Oh, there's a really good one. I, I If I didn't put it on yet, I'll send. It, I'll put it on Instagram. I've been yeah. putting stuff on Instagram like crazy, too, finding stuff. You see that thing where they, they had the, uh, the Spider-Man from his, uh, I don't know what that is, the thing he projects, the spider signal? Yes. The thing that Tony Stark... So now message, there's all, yeah. yeah, there's all this speculation now that it's going to be the Iron Spider in uh, in uh, Avengers. Could be. I it, hope not. It, it it could be though. I mean, at least for part of it. Like if they have to go into space, you know, I think that that using an Iron Spider suit would make more sense for them from a, a design perspective than to use the Spider space suit if they go that far and i have a feeling they're going to 
I really do. I think we're going to have a lot of this space battle stuff because once again, yeah. it comes down to it's just like Star Wars. It comes down to selling toys at some point, and the more suits you can put them in, the more variations, the more opportunity. Think about it. If Spider Man has the iron suit, he has the space suit, he has the regular suit. Those are three hot but, toys they're not, right they're, there. No. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Do we get a did we get a hot toy for Spider Man Homecoming uh, for Civil War? No, not yet. We're not we're not going to. You're going to get a hot toy when Homecoming comes out. Yeah, but that's that, the same. It might be the same suit. Doesn't matter. They would have put one out now if they were getting part of that butter, but they're not. Oh, yes, I made it butter. And that's why you only I can't saw it's random. Not you also that's why you only saw a random amount of. The, Tom Holland's Spider-Man toys with this line because guess what? Sony is not getting this kickback. That's why they couldn't use it in the marketing. So you're not going to see them throw them in 15 different suits because they're not going to make any profit off the Toyetics on that. The Toyetic they're going to make on is how many different Iron Man suits, whoever else goes up or with them, how many if caps in a different suit. That's where they're making their money. Okay. All right, I'm not marking any words on this one. I'm just saying. No, I just I don't. I see wouldn't that. be surprised. <clears throat> I don't see the Iron Spider suit coming anytime soon. I think there's going to be a cont continuous tease, but I just don't see them doing that because it's it's not like the comics where you can draw it and it's a month in thing. This is you know Spider Man right. in a movie every year. Or two. We're going to see this a lot. That's what yeah. we're going to see. Little tiny variations of it. That's yes. what we're going to see. Uh, it's just okay. how it's going to work because that's that's the iconic look. They're going to keep it to that. All right, all right. I I don't mind. I like that. So, but it would be. I I would like to see. I wouldn't mind seeing some of the different looks. I mean, like like you know, we're never going to get a Spider Island or uh, any of that series, which would be awesome. And you get all those different Spider Mans. Uh, we got to get it in the comics form. We're not yeah, going to no. get it the other way. We might down the road, you know, depending. You and I are not going to be alive feature. by the time that happens. You know what? As long as it, they do an animated feature that doesn't look like the crap DC's putting out. Did you see that Dark Justice League trailer? No, I didn't watch it yet. Okay. I've been excited for that. I like the Dark Justice League idea. Guillermo del Toro was supposed to make the film. Supposedly there is a live-action film still in production. There is. But they put out this cartoon. I think their stuff looks terrible. And people are like, yeah, this looks really awesome. I can't even get through it. It looks like the real Ghostbusters. Like it's like ten frames a second. The the drawings are not very detailed. They're choppy. It's like give this to an anime studio, write a good script, and let's let's get it on. That's what Marvel needs to do. They wow. could they could make some of these as features. Now that's the other thing I was going to say. There's the big rumor about Disney buying Netflix. If that happens, do not be surprised if the idea that that we've talked about of one offs movies of the different characters. So now they don't have to release it in a theater. They can make something a little lower, a lot lower budget, put it on the screen on Netflix. They can roll through some of these other characters. We can get an exciting group of things. But are, they, are they losing money that way? See, I don't I, think I they still are. Don't know. I, I still don't know. But they're not with Netflix. Otherwise, why is everybody jumping on Netflix? I still don't. because. There's just, but here's the thing. I still don't know. If Disney's going to spend the money to buy Netflix, I know there's the rumors out. I think somebody on Movie Pilot wrote it. I know we've talked about it. I just don't see the long term growth investment for Disney on that. The only thing I can see them is another another avenue to put out content. Right. It's but here's that, the thing. But, but now the other studios have to play ball with them to get their content on Netflix. It puts them right, in a but they don't have to position because against Amazon. The there's Hulu. I mean, Sony View is they're doing their own but thing. But who has the biggest part? Apple's of the doing market. their own thing. Yeah, they and, have it now. But once everything starts moving more and more towards digital, if everybody's user friendly like Netflix, it's going to change. I, 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 doesn't, I, I don't. They don't like to pigeonhole themselves. And I think buying Netflix sounds like it's pigeonholing them to then push more Disney content through Netflix. And I think at times they've already expanded themselves too far on their own channels on cable. I think they're doing it so that they get in a better position 
with the other studios. It makes them a player in another way. I really do think it's going to happen. I think something like that will happen. Why give Netflix the power when you can buy them and now you're that power player? Sony? What, what power? Wanna... Netflix is ponying up money to make content and, and paying them. Just like um, just like Nintendo's doing with like these apps and like Pokemon and stuff. But they had money off of this stuff. Creating, they had nothing to do with creating that app, and their stocks went through the roof. They made right. more money hand over right. fist. Because they're content marketers, though, and that's what Disney is saying. If Disney buys Netflix, all they are at that point is a content marketer, uh, and they've got access to everyone else's Yeah, thing. but then it's more of their money at stake to put out this product. That's the thing. Like Right now, it's not really Disney that's floating the boat to make Daredevil and Luke Cage. They have their hands in it. They've got some money backing it, but Netflix is the one ponying it up. Okay. I, I'm just I, telling you because you see it. You see it when they're making Agents of Shield, and the difference between the budget of Shield versus the budget of Daredevil. The difference between when right, they put something out on Disney XD as a cartoon versus them putting things theatrically. You know, they once th this is why they don't make a movie every month. You know, this is why they because of how much money they have to invest in doing these things. If they buy Netflix, they are investing more and more because Netflix is doing a whole bunch of their own content. They're doing more adult content. I don't see them getting into that. And okay. then that's the thing that's going to lose ground for them is if they don't continue that. If they okay. don't continue a house of cards and all these other things. I think they would, though. Once again, I think that it becomes an investment for them. It's not a Disney branded thing. It's just they're like the holding company on it. Yeah, just but, like, every, but it's, it's but that's what Disney does. Disney brands, even when they have Buena Vista and all this stuff, it still has the Disney brand on it. Everybody knows it's a Disney brand. Okay, I mean, you might be right. I just I, I'm looking at it from a different perspective, and I really, I the way I understand it, I think that it could happen. I just don't but see it. you make a great argument. So, I think we'll agree to dis disagree, and in the end, ultimately, Jack is wrong because he's not here. That's true. That's true. And, I mean, if it happens, that's fine because that means that they're going in a different direction that the company hasn't gone yet, and I, I haven't seen any inkling that they would. Sure. But, and, and maybe somebody there is saying it, or maybe there's – maybe because the Warner Brothers um, – AT and T merger, they decide that they need to strengthen their own skill. And that their could own be set too. as well. That because, could be too. Because AT and T now owns, you know, Warner, uh, and they Time don't Warner. want they don't want them buying Netflix, uh, and they don't want Comcast to step in and buy Netflix. Well, and that's but that's the thing. Like Comcast now has that deal with Netflix. Like if you have a Comcast box, you get I know. to stream Netflix on We've Comcast. Got it. So it's like just like Disney has a deal with Netflix too. Because all of a sudden they had all this Disney content on there that no one else had. They right. have their deal. Um, it's but see, it's, but Netflix is paying them to have the deal. I mean, that's the thing. Like it's, it's I know free I get what money you're to Disney, and I get when what Disney saying, has to, I, it's a total turn in their in their in their profit sharing. It's, like, but see, this is this is similar to somebody saying they're going to buy like Twitter, where you go, why would you possibly buy? Why would why would Facebook by Instagram when Instagram loses money and and there's no it, it's a competitor and it makes no sense, but they did because it becomes an investment and in something another tool another avenue they can start working with. That could be what's going on here. I don't know. Maybe it's all maybe it's all just speculation and it's not real. That's possible too. It's it, I mean I think much more real is the fact that Marvel and Fox are going to make some kind of deal. No, and I, and I know see that. That one, I'm telling you, I'm not wrong. Now I know the stuff that came out this week. Yeah, that's that's. But they have. But, they, but they've made my. I'm deals telling before. you. They, I'm telling they, you. We've known a that deal they've had will happen. But we've known that they have had minor deals. They they have to be working together because it's still Marvel's property. Right. They have contracts that they have to go through to do anything to get Legion on TV. That's coming out. They had to go through Marvel. Right. Right. But there so are it doesn't, it doesn't deals that mean. are going on. And I'm telling you, there is going to be something that's going to be a bigger deal, especially now that they're talking about re 
booting the X-Men, without Marvel's support of the X-Men, with them wiping out the X-Men in the Marvel Universe, basically, it's going to be a harder property for them to do to re Marvel do not anything wiped. with. I mean, Mar Marvel always talks that they're wiping them out. They're gone for this, and they bring them back because in the comics they have more value to them than not. Just like they do with the Fantastic Four. Then the Fantastic Four comes back. Right. I, right. I don't, I don't they, think Fox they can lay up. They can lay them dormant for a while until they're. I, I don't think dead Fox property cares. for Fox, them. Fox proved it right there. They don't care what Deadpool. They gave Deadpool sixty million dollars and made them seven hundred and sixty million dollars. Right. True. So Fox is looking at it as money. All all X Men to them is is a continuous ATM machine because they can put out direct movies and they're still going to make a profit. That they know that. Right. I mean, they they've made a profit on all these because the the budgets haven't been right. Right. They're they're doing the anti DC thing because they're not putting budgets like DC is putting budgets to try to compete and make billion dollars. Right. Fox is like we're gonna Fox make a budget. Saying, we're gonna we're gonna make it a reasonable budget so that we, we make wanna... a profit. Yeah, exactly. I agree. So I agree. That's they, why they're never going to make that is where they deal. really proved it. Right, and th and they're never gonna make that deal. There is no reason to. Sony had to make the deal because they were putting. I think you're wrong. Two hundred and fifty million dollars in making Amazing Spider-Man. I think you're wrong because I think that they're gonna figure out there's a way they can sweeten their deal and still come in at their lower budget stuff. It, I, I, I'm telling you. I think when that property is devalued enough, they're going to feel like we can fix this this way just like Sony did. And it will devalue. Logan is going to be a hit. Logan looks great. But they are going to have a problem with their X-Men franchises. They're definitely going to have a problem going into Deadpool 2 well, but as they start mixing all this together. And they're like, we have to reboot. Well, what happens to the characters? They're using... X Men characters in Deadpool too. We are don't know who use... yet, though. I mean, they're using Domino and all these other, but they're using people that you don't even need to worry about for the original X Men cast. What they could end up doing is they can pull like a '90s X Men cartoon series type of characters. The reason why they want to reboot is because they know without a Wolverine character, they they can't make right. the money that they want to make. They put all their eggs on Wolverine, and they should have. He was the and, best, and, and he made them money. So why why the reboot talk? Because Hugh Jackman's not coming back. Right. So they're like, okay, well, we've already unless, established Hugh Jackman. Unless they do it for Infinity War or whatever the second but, one is. But, but Hugh would, Jackman's still in his 50s. He's yeah, not coming but back. They let him do, he does one more appearance in the Marvel Universe like that. It could happen. Come uh, on, Alil. I'm, no, I'm 48. I'm, I'd do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> And you don't have hundreds of millions of dollars already in wanting to do other movies. No, but I have body hair in weird places just like Wolverine. Okay. I, I still don't see it because there's no reason for Fox to do it. They haven't hit rock bottom. Even though Apocalypse Snick. is trash, they haven't, they haven't hit rock bottom. I mean, because we thought they have hit rock bottom many a times. <laughs> and then they come back with the next movie. And <coughs> Fantastic <out> Four. <coughs> Fantastic Four. Yeah, forward. and Fantastic Four happened when, and they still haven't given up the rights or right. made a deal for that at least. But I think that's their bargaining chip. I don't. I, I don't think it's going to be like a, a deal like like what people think. I think there's going to be something there. I think it's going to be some type of little trade agreement for something like the Fantastic Four. If you let us put Tony Stark in this, or you let us do something with this. That's where I think you're going to see it. See, somebody that, is going to end. I'll, I'll tell you where they're going to end up. It's going to be somebody from the MCU that comes in to the new mutants film when they do that. That's no, what see, I think it'll be. See, when that bargaining chip would have worked, would have would have worked for Logan if they would have got the Hulk or they would oh, have done been, something else. That would have been amazing. Then that would have been that chip you're talking about. Now that that movie's passing, New Mutants are doing something else like that. Why do you need to establish any Avenger in that movie? You do not. To get people to go to it because they're no, they all new X-Men characters. They're going to have knows. people. X-Men First Class was nobody, anybody knew. There was, it was a 60s movie, and guess what? Yeah, but it was it's probably Professor the best X-Men movie. It was Professor X. They had the Beast in there. People did know who these characters were. New Mutants, people don't know who they are. Yeah, but They're no, going to have to have an anchor, and that's why they put Wolverine in first class 
because they knew they needed even they, they used him in the trailer. Why? Why did they spoil the fact that he was in it? Because they knew they needed that anchor. They're gonna need an anchor there. Right. At New and the anchor is Wolverine. Not not when he's gone. No, they're recasting. This is why they reboot. You will get you will get young twenty something men who will be cast as Wolverine. Is it gonna be Bieber? Probably not. And he will be the one who will then they'll sign him to a ten, ten movie deal, and he'll be in New Mutants, X Men Volume One, however, Uncanny X Men. Do you think and it'll that's be how they're gonna do it? Ben Affleck, because when his Batman deal falls through, do you think that uh, might be Casey? Might be Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck. Oh, that would be the best move ever. Get Casey Affleck in the MCU. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, <laughs> competing Afflecks. We end up with the better one. Could you imagine? Okay. I'll take it. All right. Are we done? I think so. We've talked. To, we've argued a lot today. You're, I'm you're so wrong tired too. I've been wrong a lot. I'm making no good arguments. I'm falling asleep. It's it's good to be the king, though. Gotta say. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I just watched Mel Brooks saying that. That's all. That's what my reference was. Uh, okay. We have a new YouTube channel. Just look up Nuff Said Universe for a YouTube channel. Uh, and that's where we're putting all of the shows. We put the live ones here on Southgate Media Group on YouTube. And then we put the edited stuff and the podcast and all that over on the other. And we're going to start adding some new content over there too. So get ready. Uh, and we do have the mighty, is that what we call it? The Mighty Enough Said Reading Club is over there. Uh, sure, and, uh, I don't read, so I don't know. Yeah, so we we just did, uh, we it's we're actually doing Iron Fist a second time. We did the Iron Fist series from uh, a couple of years ago and it turned out I read the wrong one. Phil wanted me to read the older one. So I've gone back and we're doing the older one now. And the older one is friggin' great too. It's really a good series. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, but we've, we've done, uh, we've done some of the big ones, like some of the big, like Netflix. We did Luke Cage. We've done Iron Fist. Uh, we did Daredevil. We're, uh, we're not just specifically sticking to Netflix. That just happens to be what's come across. Uh, but it's it's a lot of fun. So if you want more Marvel goodness, mm, marvel goodness, nice. check out our YouTube channel. And uh, that's it. All this stuff is in the show notes too. But follow us over the next couple of weeks. Get on there and follow us because we're going to be tweeting out about all these like promotions and shirts and stuff. We got really, really cool shirts we're going to be tweeting out. Mugs, laptop stuff, all sorts of stuff. You can do all your Christmas shopping. Have people buy it for you. Yes. I'm done. Well, give your uh, social media. You can follow me at the League of Geeks podcast, and that's uh, on Twitter at L O G E E K Z. And uh, you can follow me at R Southgate or follow the podcast at Nuff Said Podcast. You can also follow the uh, Marvel, all new Marvel Roundup, which I think is just under Marvel underscore Roundup. And Charlie does not have one for super connectivity, but he does have Charlie Esser with two S's for savings. He says for quality, but I like savings. Okay. Uh, shop smart. Shop Esser smart. And that's it. Thanks again. We'll be back after the 29th. Enough said. Enough said. Did you stumble over my enough said? Did you want to do it first? I, I was going to do it, but I'm sorry. You do it. No, it's all right. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> all right. Thanks a little. All right, Rob.